When Jessica Bourne was at her lowest, she felt lost and didn't know who to turn to. I was going through a really hard time right towards the end of nursing school. COVID was like, you know, at its worst. And uh, I was sort of just thinking more about um, the kind of things that my family relied on doing. Coming from a family of non-practicing Catholics, she has always yearned for some kind of spiritual connection. One morning I woke up, I w worked a night shift, and uh, I woke up and I just, my first thought was, I'm going to Ash Wednesday Mass. I walked in the doors and it was beautiful. Um, and I left feeling like like it was something that I wanted to do. Many adults like Jessica entering the Catholic Church or those just considering joining follow a course known as the RCIA or the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults. RCIA is a faith journey for adults who desire to come into full communion with a Catholic Church. It's a process of conversion in growing a relationship with God and learning how to be a disciple. There are four stages in RCIA, each concluding with a ceremony known as a rite. RCIA normally takes about nine months, but varies from person to person. First is the pre-catechumenate stage, where people are still exploring the faith. After the rite of acceptance, next is the catechumenate stage. This is the time of learning, the basic catechesis, prayer, and the teachings of the church, leading up to the rite of election. Third is the stage of purification and enlightenment, which is the period before receiving the Easter sacraments of initiation into the church, baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. This period consists of intense spiritual reflection and prayer. Lastly, the stage of mystagogy, which is a continued reflection on the sacraments one has received and finding a place in the church community. Maria Thorson, director of RCIA at the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart in Richmond, Virginia, says members form a lasting spiritual bond during weekly sessions. And that small faith community of RCIA members and their sponsors and the team um, help each other to sort of delve deeper into the relationship with God. After getting to know Jessica, Maria then matched her with her sponsor, Holly Aldridge. As a mother of two, Holly says being a sponsor lets her relive the joy she felt baptizing her sons. It's just so special to hear people's stories. Why? Why are they doing this? Why are they choosing to do this as an adult? And to just be a part of that and witness and help walk along with them is really been a blessing for me. At the culmination of the RCIA, those who wish to become Catholic are received into the church every year at the Easter Vigil Mass. Jessica, I baptize you. For me personally, it's a great source of pride uh, to see uh, candidates and catechumens receive their sacraments because I know that they've been preparing and I've had the chance to meet with them and listen to them and uh, assist them in some way. Uh, on their journeys. Like Jessica, Angela McGlowan also went through the RCIA process. You may recognize her as a commentator on another network. Angela, who was a Protestant growing up, started her spiritual journey by helping out a colleague who was in a dark place. A friend was in trouble and needed to go back to his faith, a fallaway Irish Catholic. So the Holy Spirit quickened me and said, Angela, you need to get him back to his church and you need to go with him. So we both ended up attending the Church of Immaculate Conception. This is where she met Father Charles Gallagher, who became her spiritual guide and helped her with faith formation. Angela continued attending Mass with her colleague, Jack Keane. To her surprise, her faith journey transformed into a love story. She fell in love with both the Catholic Church and her friend. So it was very special to me. That was like the culmination of I married into the faith, I became a part of the faith, and I converted on the day that I became uh, a wife. So it was, it was a, a beautiful, becoming Catholic was like a beautiful love story to me. Father Gallagher sends a message to those who show interest in the Catholic Church. 
My message to them is that the Catholic Church is much bigger from the inside than it is from the outside. That when they become Catholic and they, they enter in and they see how big the church is, how beautiful our traditions are, how diverse you know, our, our worship is in all the different cultures and all of our different saints and, and the spirituality of the church, that they would find a, a true spiritual home. Rasal Rages, EWTN News in Depth. RCIA could soon be called OCIA, which stands for the Order of Christian Initiation for Adults. The move by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops was made to reflect more of the church's original Latin roots. It's still pending final approval from the Vatican. Each parish has information on the RCIA programs they offer, but you can also learn more about the basic process of RCIA on the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops website, usccb.org.